Fit like up the <clears throat> Danny boy here. We are back with more transport fever at the races. And now it is time for the world freight race. So we have selected the sort of best of the best of, uh, well, freight trains from around the world to sort of compete against our American who earned his right in this race by winning the last race. Now, they are a sort of mix and match. We've got a French train here, Australian train here. Uh, this is one of Danny T's uh, mods. We've used them before. They are pretty cool. So, and it's a decent sort of train, so we're going to use it. We've got our German, our British freight liner here, and our extremely large uh, Russian train. But we'll go and look at the stats, see how they mark up. They do all have the same length of train, uh, same as last time. But we will go to buy trains and we will head into diesels. So, without further ado, let's have a look. Uh, our SD70 here has 890 kilonewtons of tractive effort. Uh, about 4,360 brake horsepower and it weighs 210 tons. Top speed is 70 miles per hour, so pretty decent. Uh, one of these, uh, because they are all the same, 500 kilonewtons, 4,562. So combined, they're about 1,500 kilonewtons of pulling power, uh, 71 miles per hour. So exactly the same as our, as our EMD SC uh, 70 here. Slightly heavier, I think. Yes, the American is slightly heavier. Uh, slightly more horsepower on the... Australian though. Now if we go to our next, is it you? No, it, it's not you. It's him. Uh, this train right here. So 400 kilonewtons, slightly lower, well a lot less lower than the other two. And it only has a top speed of 62, which is unfortunate. But that is the sort of best uh, Russian train that I could find for the job. Uh, so hopefully it won't be too bad. There is this, uh, but they all do sort of 62. Uh, our French train though, however, if we can find it. So about 18, 1200 kilonewtons for the Russians combined. We've got our French freight trains here. They only have 300 kilonewtons, but they will do 75 miles per hour. So that ain't too bad. I could have used these, but they are even less. 360, 53 miles per hour. That ain't going to cut it. So we've got this for our German train. 75 miles per hour. Almost 400 kilonewtons of pulling power. And our freight liner. Uh, 75 miles per hour with 409. So the only way they're going to beat the American ain't on pool and power, it's if they reach their top speed. So, without further ado though, uh, we should just add in, we're not going to add the actual names of the train, we'll just say uh, France, Australia, it's a first. Australia, the US of A, and this one is our German, Germany, the UK, and our Russian. Right, so we shall set them up, we'll push pause, get them going to Upper San Antonio, so that's the Russian and the British train ready to go. Our German train is ready to rock and roll. USA ready to go. Australia ready to go. And France ready to go. Uh, so without further ado, we'll get it kicked off and see how things progress. Just like the last race, this might take a while. So three, two, one, and go.
New horns again. Sort of weird silence. I think it's just because there's so much trains leaving at the same time. I mean, you can barely even hear their engines. But the engine sounds will come back later. They are off the... Ooh, the Australian... ...is winning. You go, Australia. French train... I, I, I don't have high hopes for this French train at all. Uh, even the Fairbanks Morse had more pool and power than actually quite a few of these. <laughs> and it did not do so well, but our Australian is in first. Well done, Australia. Uh, USA is in second, and it has a higher top speed than the American. Our German is up there in third, so he ain't down and out yet. Our UK train is actually doing quite well. So is the Russian. Uh, it's just our French train in the background here that is struggling. It does only have 900 kilonewtons of pulling power. Uh, 300 for each loco. So it's quite understandable for it to be struggling here. And the Russian only can go up to 62. So once he's at 62, he has had it. They are going uphill though. The three front runners are sort of taking off there. I thought the UK train would do better. I thought it would actually be better than the German train, but alas, that does not seem to be the case. It is up to 51 miles per hour. The Australian train is just chewing it up. Oh, he's away. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I fully thought that the American was going to win. Uh, how's France getting on? 52. Not catastrophically bad. You are about to start going uphill. But these mile-long trains would not be a thing in Europe. That's more of an American thing. I think they do have sort of that sort of thing in Australia as well. But away they go. Can't believe this guy is winning. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, right, how is the UK getting on? Get, get moving. Get up to 62. It looks like our Australian train has a top speed of what? 71 which oops I've closed it uh, is it still there far left there is and it is actually doing 72 71 miles per hour for the or it will be 71 I would imagine German trains got 75 miles per hour top speed though Ooh, and it's passing the American. It could even pass the Australian train. Okay, right. This French train is at 65. So it should start to pass that Russian train. It's only got a top speed of 62. Yes. French train up to 68. What is the top speed of the French train? It's 75 as well. So is the UK train it looks like. 75. So it ain't down and out yet either. So the American really needed a bigger lead there. It is up at 71 miles per hour. And now that these things are going at full steam, they probably won't slow down for anything. Now you're up at 73, so you have now passed the Russian train. The Russian train does have a decent amount of power, it just doesn't have the speed, unfortunately. Uh, German train is actually second now.
The UK trains at 75 miles per hour, although the American train, the front of it, is quite far ahead. French train should be there somewhere. There he is. Right, very nice. You are sort of being left in the dust. Everyone's starting to leave you, unfortunately. But he did good to get up to his top speed. Right, UK, or let's look at France. Is doing good. 75, 75, 72, and 75. 71. You can see the UK train fast approaching and the French train on the inside there. <laughs> They are about to go uphill again. I don't think it'll make a difference. They should be able to run up there at sort of full speed. Yep, maintaining speed, that's pretty good. The German there are looking to be taking the lead. So I would imagine if this track wasn't so fluid, or fluent, uh, fluid? <laughs> if it wasn't so fluent, uh, these trains would probably struggle. If there were more tight corners where they had to slow down and then try and gain that speed back, these other trains would definitely be annihilated by the USA and Australian train. But it's the fact that they can keep going at top speed while hauling such a long consist. That is what is defeating the American here. Because most things in Europe are built for speed. Right, France. And the fret livery there. You are totally gone. The end of the French train is fast approaching. It did well though, it got up to 62. That's about as much as you can ask from a train to get up to its top speed. Right, so here comes the UK train. I would imagine it's going to go into the tunnel in fourth place and then emerge at the other end of the tunnel and... Ooh, they are losing speed though. Not the Australian, but the British train, German train, American train have all lost one, two miles per hour there. And imagine the UK train to pop out in third position. Are you near the tunnel? You are. So at least this train is not as far behind as the Fairbanks Morse was. It got up to 62 quite quickly. Uh, Germania overtook the Australian train while in the tunnel. Okay. A UK train did not pass the American train. Although it is getting there. slowly creeping up. Right, Russian train's in the tunnel, that's good. Uh, French train is also closing on the American train. There's the leader, second place just behind it. Looks like the British train is sort of just sneaking past the American. They will be coming to the hill section though shortly, once they get round to Salt Lake City. A uh, Russian train has just appeared from the tunnel. It still managed to hold at top speed, so that's pretty decent. A uh, French train closing fast. 
all maintaining top speed, yes. We shall see what happens when we come to the hill section though. 72, 71, 75. I'm surprised this American never got off to a better start. Although it does have the locos themselves for the American train are substantially more heavier than any of the other locos that are on the go. I think those Australian locos are a whole 100 tons less. So even though they've got the same amount of wagons straight off the bat, this train is about 300 tons lighter, which is a substantial amount of weight. Right, French train coming up on the left hand side. The UK train is now in third. UK train may even pass Australian train, maybe. Right, UK train is in the tunnel. Austral Australian train is there. There's the UK train, it is catching. American train behind it. Looks like France is creeping up on the American train as well. Ooh, it's actually passing it. So the hill section can't come quick enough for this man right here. He needs that hill section to slow down these other trains. Because even the German train will struggle to get up that hill. The Australian train may be okay. It looks like the UK is also catching the Australian train. Can't actually see. There's the locos there. So it's about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Another 20 wagons to close down before he gets to the to the locos. Alright, where are you? You're just going into that tunnel now. France has uh, taken down the American train. France, USA. Nice. Now I think the fastest American freight train is 75 or 70 miles per hour. The Fairbanks Morse does do uh, 81, but it would have been completely decimated by everyone by now, bar the Russian. There's no way, not a hope in hell. It would have managed to get that far. It probably probably would have bet the Russian, but it would have lost against everything else. But it seems to be the case as well for the SD70. Once the race ends, we'll have a look and see if there was anything that would have done 75 miles per hour. But this thing bet all the rest of the decent American trains that were on the go. Right, British train is catching up on the Australian, but they are coming, coming up to the hill section. There it is on the left-hand side. So we'll have a wee look at the German. He slowed down to 62 for this corner. <clears throat> the rest of the trains are starting to catch up, but they'll slow down in a minute. So round here, down to 52 on this sort of middle track. This could be a chance for the American to gain some ground back. Now you are starting the climb. Trying to haul this mass amount of wagons up this hill. <laughs> that should be interesting. You're managing to keep 54. German train is down to 50. 
Bach on the power there. 53. The British train is down to 50. Ooh, actually, it's down to 49. French train, I would expect to lose speed also. American train needs to get back on the power ASAP. <clears throat> he is doing 51. Uh, the German train is probably just reaching the top of the hill now. We'll jump on board with the Russian. How far away are you? Quite far. And you still attack all the hill section. The German is almost at the top of the hill. So around here, and then it can start to go down, downhill again. But it technically is still hauling the train up the hill until the last carriage passes these waypoints, and then it's downhill again. But it's starting to increase speed. The Australian, Australian's up to 52 though. UK train doing pretty terrible there. Uh, same with the French train, 41. USA train is up to 47. So he is catching them again. Looks like the Russian is about to tackle the hill now. Yep, he's at the foot of the hill. He's starting the climb. Let's jump on board with the American. Right, so you've passed the French train. Absolutely, definitely. So, back up into fourth place for you. And you're about to pass the British train. So, back up into third for you. In a moment, it will get there. 65, 64. You're going to hit 72, and once you do, he can take away, he can get away. It looks like the Germans are going to win, possibly. Yes, American train taking back the third place there. Uh, Russian train ain't doing so good already as it enters the tunnel. The bottom half of its train is still at the bottom half of the hill. Bottom section of the hill, I might add. Right, France is up to 60, UK is up to 61. This is at 66. You are about to hit top speed now. And when you do, he'll be able to pull away. Until they get to... Uh, this section. There's an uphill corner going through this tunnel. That is catastrophically slow. So the British and French train need to pass the American again. And then gain some distance. Or he's going to beat them going through that corner. Uh, German there is up to 75. So he can start to pull away again. Hey. <laughs> the Australian there stuck at 72. That's a shame. It's a pity this train didn't do 75. It probably would have decimated all. Right, American doing good again. Barking it. Uh, the Russian train has reached the top of the hill. While well, these guys are basically just at the bottom of the hill. Now, where is that corner? That's not there. The corner is there. There's the American. So he probably ain't going to catch first or second. He just needs to hang on to third place. Although UK train up at 75 back on his heels. So given time, the UK train and the French train would have passed the Australian train. You're back up to 54. 55. Uh, you actually can't see anybody. Everyone else is so far in front of you. Right, they're coming to the corner. So they go uphill, and then they have to slow down going through here. 
this might be the Australian's chance to sort of get a comeback. So down to 58, 57. You're down to 54. German is going through there. UK train is passing the American. Now, it's not straight on the power, straight away. They'll have to maintain this speed, 54 and 52, until the last wagon passes uh, the corner. They can't speed up until the whole train is past that corner. And then they have to go through here, round here, and to the finish line. So there may be hope for the Australian yet. German train is down to 53. Australian train is up to 53. It's going to go down to acceleration. UK train going deadly slow. <laughs> yep, just as they're, because they're coming through here. Uh, Russian train, where are you? Just arriving at Phoenix imminently. Right, German train is up to 56. Australian train coming round the corner. Needs to get some speed up. Uh, what is happening here? UK is still in third, just. Right, are they back on the power yet? No. They must be waiting for their trains to come round this corner before they can gain any more speed. Right, you're up to 57 because your train is clear. Shortly, the Australian train will be clear. There it is, there it is clear now. <laughs> See if it can get up there. UK train, uh, you're going to suffer because the American is going to take you down on acceleration. Is the UK train barking the power? Not yet. Uh, you're at 67. Ah, the German is safe. As it comes to the finish line. Because it's already going past 72, which is the Australian train's top speed. So well done, the Germans. Not the most powerful out of the bunch, but it got up there. It did well. There it is. Cross the line. First place for Germany. <laughs> Our Australian in second. Over the line, well done. That was pretty good. Now, we'll watch these guys coming out of the tunnel. Looks like the UK's got the upper hand. They do. Uh, French train is absolutely not going to pass the. It, it sort of died to death right at the end there. Uh, stop, turn around, go. Right, third place for the UK, the USA crossing the line there in fourth. And we're going to stop you there, turn you round. UK train is coming in. Looks like a French train is about to cross the line as well. So fifth place for France. Uh, you are currently at halt. You are currently at a halt. So, fifth place for France. And last but not least, our Russian train. Let's actually see where he is. He's, he's only at Albuquerque. He's not got that far to go. So, even though this train only did 62 miles per hour top speed, it fought well. Look at these. Ridiculously huge trains. Right, there is our French train has arrived. 
I am going to tell you to go a depot. And then I'm going to stop you there. There we go. And then last but not least, our Russian. So we'll fire on times three for this. <laughs> we'll get him finished. He did manage to get up to 62 in the end. So not too bad. Coming along the right hand side there. Across the finish line. And break. No, not break. Keep going at full speed. Yes. There we go. So there you have it. There was the worldwide freight race. Uh, I thought the Americans were going to just uh, win right from the get go. I thought they were just going to annihilate everybody else. But it would seem again like. American trains have all out the most power of probably any other trains in the world. No doubt about it. One of these is about 800. The rest was only about 400. About half the power of one of these. So, but the Australians did very well. The German trains were good as well. Uh, it basically went in out to superior speed along with the UK train that finished third and our French train that finished uh, fifth. So it did manage to catch the American but couldn't pass it at the end. And last but not least, our Russian train that was pretty decent if it had a better top speed. It probably would have been right up there with the rest. I did actually scour through Steam Workshop with a fine tooth comb looking for a better Russian train but it was not to be had. I thought there was one that I used in a previous playthrough but I could not for the life of me remember what it was called. Uh, I thought it was the TEP 70 but it wasn't but I could not find it. But anyway there, anyway, there you go. The Germans king of freight there. Uh, the Australians second, the Amer the British third, the USA fourth, France in fifth, and Russia in last. So as always, if you did watch this and you'd like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there is more you would like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. But I've been Danny Boy, this has been Transport Fever at the races on the USA map, and I will catch you later.